Although we have some clouds around still, it is dry outside. We're going to stay dry overnight tonight. Frankly, we're going to stay dry for most of the day tomorrow as well. So here we go. Future tracker showing overnight tonight being a variably cloudy night. So we head into tomorrow. I think we're looking at a mostly cloudy sky all day long. This computer model wants to keep us dry all day on Wednesday. I'm not entirely sure that's going to be the case. I do think that late in the day, say after four or five o'clock in areas, say towards South Side, New River Valley, you could start to see a few showers moving in. I think we will have some scattered showers around as we head into Wednesday night, perhaps even a higher concentration than what you're seeing here on this computer model with the lingering showers with us into Thursday morning by Thursday afternoon. I do think that we will dry things out and perhaps even see a little more sunshine. So from now, say through Thursday morning, we're looking at around a tenth of an inch to maybe a half an inch of rain before all is said and done. Uh, maybe slightly higher totals the farther south you go. I think we're going to see slightly lower totals as you head farther to the north. So that's round one of rain moving in for us here over the next 24 to 36 hours. Then we're going to have another round of rain moving in late this week into the early part of the weekend, and that could bring us an additional maybe quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain as we head into Friday and also as we head into Saturday morning. So total here from now through Saturday, we could pick up anywhere from around a half an inch to perhaps an inch and a half of rain before all is said and done. Those higher numbers will be farther south. Those lower numbers will be farther to the north. There could even be a few areas that get a little bit closer, perhaps two inches here over the course of the next four to five days. Now, as far as the winds are concerned, yeah, it's been a breezy day for us, arguably windy out there. Those winds are in the process of dying down a little bit. Strongest wind right now out of the northwest at 15 in Hot Springs, out of the northwest at 12 in Roanoke. But some of these wind gusts are pretty impressive here over the last 12 to 18 hours. Hot Springs had a 41 mile per hour wind gust, Withville 40, Roanoke had a 32 mile per hour wind gust. Good news in the wind department is tonight, the winds weaken and then tomorrow the winds will not play an important role in our forecast. They're going to be, I think, out of the southeast anywhere between around three and eight miles per hour. Our temperatures 42 in Hot Springs, 49 in Lexington. Farther south, as you would expect, it's a little bit warmer. 59 in South Boston, 52 Hillsville and Galax. Your forecast for tonight, we're turning chillier with the winds weakening. Overnight lows tonight in the 30s and lower 40s. And then for the day tomorrow, we are looking at a mostly cloudy sky. A few showers certainly possible later in the day south of, say, Highway 460. Highs virtually everywhere in the 40s. We're in the 50s on Thursday. We're near 50 on Friday. Upper 50s Saturday. Look at Sunday and Monday. Lower 60s, dry with sunshine. Sunday and Monday look beautiful for the chance for rain returns again as we head into next Tuesday.